Hey guys, it's John, and I'm really excited today because we are going to be testing out the strength of a new hitch. Now, I say a new hitch with a small question in my mind, only because of the fact that although I did devise this, it's always possible that something like this already exists. And part of this video and subsequent videos to follow, we'll be trying to get the word out and find out if that's the case. And if any point during this journey we find out that's the case, we'll make sure to give credit and find out how and if we can use such an invention in our own climbing and rigging. So my objective here was to find a hitch that's a quick release hitch, meaning that if you're familiar with the highwayman's hitch, which is also known as the bank robber's knot or the getaway hitch, or if you're familiar with the painter's knot, these are, or painter's hitch, uh, these are hitches which you can secure relatively easily and pull on a drawstring and the whole thing just falls apart. It spills and releases. However, the ones I mentioned, to my knowledge, are not uh, appropriate for life safety. And what we're looking for is for something that is appropriate for life safety. So for example, my audience, which consists of a lot of climbers who might use climbing sticks or other rope climbing methods to get into a tree. They might use SRT. They're securing it with a basal anchor or uh, folks who use climbing sticks and then want to repel out of a tree and want a secure cinching knot, which can be easily released. These are some potential applications. And when we test such a knot, we're going to want to make sure we test it in the appropriate direction of pull. So today's test will be that. I will be securing this hitch. I'm standing over a fallen maple tree and I've got four of those hitches in this test. We'll be pulling it from the top of the tree down and we'll be pulling it from the bottom of the tree up. I chose this setting because it's going to allow me to walk up and down the tree and have a more effective video than we would have if I was uh, in, a, in a standing tree where I physically have to go up and down as does my camera person. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to pan down here to uh, my right and show you what we've got set up. So at the top of the of the tree, at the top of our setup is the hitch itself. So. Again, at this stage in the journey, I'm not giving instructions on how to tie the hitch, right? We want to um, do things in the right order. It's got, its properties are that it has two bands that go around the tree and only intersect at one location. Now, should they intersect at another location, that might only impact your ability to cinch it tightly. But if any turning or wrapping occurred during loading, that should not impact the effectivity of the hitch itself. It's released by tugging on the release line. And a really nice property of this in my initial testing is that I can release this with ease even after significant loading. So uh, this line could have hang down all the way to the base of the tree after the climber repels to the base, tug on this, the whole thing falls. We're going to cover those details, tying it and untying it, releasing it in other videos. Right now, we want to check its integrity. So I've got one variant of that hitch here and it is pulling in the direction of the trunk itself or orthogonal to the bands going through the tree. I also have the same hitch here on a beaner. So this one's not orthogonal, it's just being used as a standard hitch. But these two hitches will be seeing the same amount of force. The inner forces that are inside of this, let's say we have a thousand pounds on this, the inner forces here can be greater. And so it's completely possible that even if the hitch was uh, incredibly secure, these lines could actually break uh, before the hitch or before the uh, tension applied here. So all I'm saying is if we had a thousand pounds here, the inner forces here could be greater than a thousand. I'm using eight millimeter uh, sterling cord. This cord's been in my basement for a while, but I believe the uh, rated breaking strength at time of purchase was a, a little over 3,000 pounds. I think it's a little stronger today, but don't quote me on that. We're gonna we're gonna try to get over a thousand pounds on this and see, see what happens. Um, we're prepared to lose this rope and this is a one take uh, test, right? so no retakes so we've got a second variant of the hitch here and he, now here starts my two to one system so the inner pulling forces are in a two to one that's going to allow my winch to do less work and my scale which is only rated to 1100 pounds uh, won't try to see more than 1100 so anything I see on the scale the actual tension here will be multiplied by two so if you're not uh, you know familiar with mechanical advantage the tension in my uh, this strand at, at my right 
will be double the tension here because it is stri distributed evenly. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pan on down. So you're seeing both sides of the two to one system, both sides of the two to one system. Here is the, the winch on one side of the two to one system. Put on my safety goggles. And here is the other side and the other poor man's pulley, which is another, another beaner. Now the bottom end of the, of the setup is exactly the same as the top. I've got that hitch here, which will be seeing the full load. And I've got that hitch here seeing the full load. But again, this one is in the direction of the pull and this one's orthogonal. So uh, at, at current time, I, we don't have a name for this. So I was just going to go for it and temporarily call it the JRB hitch, uh, as I do plan to incorporate it in my uh, JRB tree climbing methods. This video will appear on my YouTube channel, JRB Tree Climbing and Saddle Hunting, under the playlist, The JRB Hitch, until such time that we may need to rename it. And subsequent videos related to this hitch will also be located there, just to keep things organized. Okay, so I'm ready to proceed, and we're gonna make sure that we're safe as possible. I've got uh, my safety glasses on, uh, my camera person is protected, and will stay out of the direction of pull should anything break. And I advise you that, you know, what I'm doing today is just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit dangerous. Usually these kind of things are done in a lab and therefore I, I'm not planning on taking this all the way to the breaking point. I will be satisfied at a certain point. However, uh, you know, if, if anything is possible and we've done our best to prepare for that. Uh, as this tension is drawn, I do expect uh, even though these are static ropes, they're going to stretch significantly. When you apply a significant load on a static rope, it still does stretch. And you'll see this whole assembly pull up a bit. And it's possible that it could slide up the tree before the knot fails. That's still a success because, of course, we're, we're putting an odd uh, orthogonal uh, tension on the, on the knot. Okay, I'm ready to get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by turning on my scale, which shuts itself off after two minutes of inactivity. I wish that was longer, but uh, here goes nothing. Scale on, it automatically tears, it finds zero pounds, and I'm going to start cranking. So I'm looking here a little bit while I still have, I see that, see that not giving just a little bit, right, it's a setting. See it stretching. I see my pulley working. What do we got for tension? So uh, it says 200, but we're really 400. What are we up to? 285 which is double, of course. So now we've got over 600 pounds total. So we got, I've got over 800 pounds total. I'm going to stop at 1,000. Make sure we're all keeping a safe distance here. Please let me know when I get to 500 at, at a static state. All right, where are we at? Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to let it rest there. And Paul, what do we got? 488. Okay, so we're in the, we're in the ballpark. I'm going to inspect uh, the hitch. So down here, we're, we're doing well. Hasn't compromised. I'm not seeing the draw loop drawn in. I used a, uh, a finger, a hand span, about six inches. I don't see that drawn in. I don't see this drawn in. Looking good, maintaining its integrity. This uh, one is only seeing half. I'm gonna jump back up in the canopy. This is only seeing half, I'm not too concerned about him. He's looking good, he's looking good. Hasn't changed shape. I'm actually kind of impressed because we haven't had this kind of load on it yet. Um, 
So a, a question, you know, I, I haven't covered is, you know, what if, you know, someone accidentally drew this uh, draw line? Now, you couldn't do it under tension like this, but a simple beaner like that would prevent this from being accidentally drawn shut. But for purposes of this test, we're not going to, we're not going to put any safety on. All right, so I am going to go a little further, and we may lose something here, but uh, thus far, I do consider this to be a successful test. And I will point out, in case we lose this, that not only are there two strands around the tree, but there are two strands binding the knot under load. So unlike a standard girth hitch, if you were to take a standard girth hitch to failure, it's that portion here that's the weakest point in the knot where the most pressure is placed on the rope. And because I have two strands, it's, it's stronger. So I really like the mechanics of this in terms of its strength profile. I can't tell you the exact forces being generated in here, but uh, thus far, I'm very happy. So we may break a rope now, but let's go a little further. Um, why don't you give me a little aud audible when we hit any milestones on, on there. Oh. What did we get to? That's peak 600 basically. Okay, so we're 1,200 totally, total. I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to go past a thousand pounds on this. It's about 680. It should be about 700. So we are at 740. 740. All right, let's just let's just stop there. Uh, I feel. Like that is an appropriate. It's actually 720, 720. So we're in the neighborhood of 1,500 pounds. I mean, I, I, I didn't have a specific number. I'm going a little bit by feel here with my rig and I've used this. I don't want to break my winch. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm feeling if we're in the uh, 750 range that we're close. 770. Yeah, so we're, we're over 1,500 pounds on this system here and Let's, let's look at it again. Let's look how it's changed. So for those of you using static ropes, look how much that's elongated. But look at the integrity of the, of the hitch. It hasn't drawn in at all. It hasn't compromised its structure whatsoever. It's holding strong here. Here again is only half the load, so that's no big deal. Half the load. And again, it's, it's looking great. Now why, I didn't point this out earlier, well why is this behind the knot? Well I tied the knot the exact same way, top and bottom. And because it's pulling upward here, it lays on top of the, the actual draw loop as opposed to the, to the top of the tree where it's hanging loose. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna release the tension. Uh, I mean we could leave this. I've got my slack out of that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, there's, there's still a little tension here. Now I've got the tension out of that. What I'm gonna do here, is spill that knot. I mean, that, that's really incredible uh, that that spills so easily. Let's do the same at the bottom. So again, this had, I don't know, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> and I was re I'm really happy with that test. And as, if you guys know me, I mean, this is, this is a take one situation. So uh, I hope there's good things to come for this. Let's continue with the testing. Let's continue with the journey. And, uh, my, my plan, again, you may be seeing this video at any point in the journey, but uh, my plan next is to get some uh, more formal 
testing done and some more formal research but i promise i'll keep you informed along the way uh, so there you go the initial test with uh the jrb hitch a hopefully secure uh hitch with quick release properties suitable for canopy anchors basal anchors or other rigging capable of sustaining a load in any direction thank you very much